During this past election, Pike County voted to move back to a magisterial form of government for the next term. Because of this, new district lines will have to be drawn and additional magistrates and constables will be elected for each district. Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr. tells us more about the changes we can expect in the coming months. Which, I mean, it won't go into effect until you know, the 2026 election. Like I said, the commissioners plate go out, finish their term, uh, so that won't have any impact on that. But as far as getting the district lines drawn, um, it's according when the election is certified, when the fiscal court uh, points uh, the commissioners uh, to draw the lines, then they have 60 days after they're appointed to present it back to the fiscal court. So, I mean, I mean, total, I mean, you could look at three months, you could look at four months, or if the fiscal court says, you know what, we're going to wait, you know, until after the new year and uh, start then. Appalachian Wireless is making it so easy and affordable to stay connected to friends, family, and the world. With the Forward Pay Unlimited or Unlimited Plus plan, get $50 off any Forward Pay device. And don't forget, with Forward Pay, there are no credit checks or long term contracts. It's Forward Pay on the region's premier network. Appalachian Wireless. We get you because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Activation fee required, discount applied at point of sale. Ballots for the 2026 election will also be altered to include those running for the new magistrate offices. This change will not affect the current commissioner's terms. Uh, because you had three districts, so you had three constables. When it goes back to six districts, you'll now have six constables instead of three. So that'll be three more uh, constables added onto the ballot. Um, also, when it went from magistrates to commissioners, um, you had justice of the peace added which Justice of the Peace and magistrates are pretty much interchangeable. Uh, they have a little more duties than commissioners do, and commissioners don't have the duties that the Justice of the Peace had. So I believe the Justice of the Peace will come off the ballot in 2026, where we switch back to the magistrate. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.